Hello everyone, my name is Bryn and welcome back to my channel. Here I'm Bryn Darcy, I talk about life and study at the Australian National University in Canberra, obviously in Australia, and what your life could be like if you studied here as well. In today's video I'm going to be talking about balancing work and study while you're a student, especially a student at ANU. So I hope you enjoy the video today, uh, if you do please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions at all uh, please just message me and let me know. I think in order to work and study at the same time you have to be quite motivated and disciplined. Uh, that is not going to work for everyone. Not everyone will be able to work a mentally uh, exhausting job as well as doing mentally exhausting study. Um, so if that's not something that you feel like you can manage uh, that's totally understandable. It's, yeah, it can, university can be a challenge, so I totally understand that. The reason why I feel somewhat qualified to talk about this topic is because I have uh, been overloading my subjects now for a year, and I have been working continuously since my second semester of first year of university, uh, doing jobs that are all related to my degree. So I feel like I have had some experience with uh, balancing study and work and I hope that my experiences will be able to help you a little bit as well. I would like to say that in general this video is probably not going to be able to tell you how to uh, balance your time because balancing your time is something that's unique to you. Uh, how long you spend on one thing is not how long someone else is going to. Uh, and also there are going to be varying levels of importance for all of the things in your life. So it's not my place to tell you how you should, uh, how you should balance those things. That's, I don't have the ability to do that. So this video is not going to be me telling you you should spend X hours on this and Y hours on this. It's me just giving you tips on how to, uh, how to make a busy life more manageable. And I know that they, the tips that I give you might be very generic, but that's also because they're true um, and because it's important that we, uh, we do these things to keep looking after ourselves in challenging times. So first of all, uh, a bit of a jokey one, uh, lots of coffee has helped me get through uh, all of my uh, things that I have going on. But I do recommend that you take the time to sleep. Uh, and you don't rely on coffee to get you through everything. I think that having a good sleep schedule is so important to uh, to building habits and building structures that mean you're able to succeed in uh, your study and your work. Uh, yeah, I think that having eight hours and just you know being relaxed during that time and having time to recharge is super important. So that is the number one thing I recommend, and that is the number one thing I need to learn to do in my life. <laughs> because I don't sleep particularly well. Secondly, I would say that being able to schedule or timetable your work is a very valuable and important skill when you are uh, overloading your subjects. I think that not only overloading your subjects but also working while studying, I think that having time blocked out to do certain things is important to being able to achieve those things. Uh, for me, I often write up a schedule or a list of things that I need to do, or sometimes both, uh, in order to keep me on track and to keep me motivated, otherwise I find that I sort of diverge and go into other things that I'm just interested in doing rather than the things I need to do. Um, so yeah, I really recommend practicing scheduling. I do have a video on my channel about uh, the different sorts of things I use to stay on track and to uh, succeed while I'm studying and so I'll leave that somewhere up the top, whichever side it's on, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, I'll leave that up the top for you to have a look at. I think my third thing is, sort of stems from the first in a way. You should take time to yourself when you can. I think that it's so often that we feel like because we have other responsibilities that are possibly, in our opinions, more important than our own health is even, we don't take the time to look after ourselves. And that's definitely the case for me. I often find when I'm really busy, the first sort of ball that I drop is self-care. I don't mean self-care in the sense of like having a bubble bath and relaxing. I mean self-care as in eating right and exercising. Uh, things that are, you know, just super important. Not even that, just taking time to yourself uh, to, you know, take a moment and relax 
sometimes I don't even do that because I feel like, oh, there's something more important I could be doing, which is so ridiculous because obviously the most important thing is me and like by that I don't mean that I'm the most important thing. I mean the most important thing to achieving things and my health is uh, is looking after myself and looking after my body because if I don't have that, what do I have? Um, yeah, it's just, you know, you have to take care of your environment and part of making a good environment for yourself is looking after yourself uh, and giving yourself love and caring for yourself and I think that those are really important things that often, me especially, uh, they put to the side and I think that that's something I definitely need to work on but that's something that I recommend other people do as well is look after yourself because you're important. My next thing sort of uh, follows on from that and that's take time to meal prep. So by, by cooking some healthy things that you are able to uh, to have just in your fridge for example for you to eat uh, to again look after yourself I think is really important uh, to helping you create that balance between both of them. Uh, Finally, I would say to build a support network, uh, whether that be friends or family or uh, your partner or another loved one or you no know, pets even. I think that having a support network and people you can lean on is so important. I know that when I have been struggling a lot with the things that I've got going on, being able to uh, reach out to my support network uh, is really important. I think as well as that, uh, having some sort of professional help at times can be useful as well. Um, I attend therapy, so I have therapists that I can also unload onto when I need to. Uh, and yeah, I think that that's all very valuable things. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I've really enjoyed making it and yeah, I'm hopeful that I will be talking with you all again soon with some more exciting updates.